fine. No. No. Greetings, everyone. Uh, there's a uh, there's been a bit of uh, trouble starting today, so uh, mm, I'm not sure if uh, if the rest of this will go well.
it won't be much if this could just be a talking to or chatting to um, so as you read the title we'll be talking about a recap of what about everything that has happened so far and uh, basically put this down in the uh, archive today's date November 1st 2022 time right now 9.15 a.m. And we have a new guest, uh, a new cat, I say. And what do you know, it's a black cat. And if you notice a few things happened before, that's because of that. Of this cat simply being on the desk, well, on the table. Let me switch to this model. No. Let's see. There we go. So, we'll be talking about uh, everything that's happened so far, as I said, along with uh, what's going to happen. But, um, let's see. Where do we begin now? I, I do this way without any script. Most of the time, it's a 50-50 chance of whether or not the stream will go well. But lately, it hasn't. That chance has been lowered. Hmm. The most recent event that I can note down was for the Halloween um, streams. Um, they... They... Weren't as they weren't the best, as I can say. Only one out of all of them came out as clear as clear as daylight, as they say. And the rest, well, I have some of the footage saved just so that I can probably use the voice to animate later. And if you can see. And you can see that uh, it hasn't been going well lately. So. If you hear any, any noise in the background, it's, I already told you who, the, who it is. It's, uh, but I, it's this cat. Um, I call her Allergy Don't. Yes, uh, her name is Allergy. And it's and quite convenient that she started sneezing just now, but then uh, uh, she's called Allergy because uh, uh, she isn't, uh, as they say, I forgot the word. Uh, yeah, so I was planning on making some more art, and, and this time adding her, since basically she arrived uh, uh, October the tenth, I believe. So right after my streams came up, uh, she came by. Along with that, I also have found a. During uh, my one of my walks, I found a well, a uh, s skeleton dog. More stuff that could have added to my art if I was uh, if I were to work on them, work on making more art during the the month. Unfortunately, just. Uh, just as I was about to work on a different project, I had some 
this. This strap, no, that's uh. It's uh, I was a bit a tiny painful, not so much, but enough where it, it distracted me from clearing my head to focus on what I want to draw. And that led to, um, to the rest of the month being a full blank on my streams. Among other stuff, a lot of stuff has happened during this month. Well, not this one, last month. Maybe that's silence for what happened. If you can. My condolences to everyone who has uh, dealt with something uh, recently, or long ago. <sighs> you know, in some ways, I get the feeling that uh, one of the reasons why I'm even here doing this is because of such reason. Um, turmoil of, uh, of, uh, let's say, losing someone. If not dealt well, can be Defining factor for the rest of your life. And he yeah, has with me. I don't remember how, when I started drawing my own art, but I remember it's, it's started with the uh, actually with tracing a coloring book that I have. If you can guess the coloring book and well if you are a you are a perfect one, aren't you? If I good I won't be able to reward you but I have made my mistakes and I sent the money in a different direction instead of what I was advised to. And I'll have to wait on, I don't know, a lot of, a uh, bit longer too. I can now fully reward you guys. Okay, so. And where was I? Yes. If you don't deal with your if you don't deal with the turmoil of uh, losing someone, when you get the chance, it will be a defining factor for the rest of your life if you don't acknowledge that in time. If you understand what I'm saying is, it took a while before I acknowledge mine. Which led to some problems being done, okay. well, being caused, which led to believing a different, which led to believing in a different path. One that I thought that I had to, that I could live by for them since it's what they used to do, but I 
Yeah, this was it's what they used to do, but uh, it wasn't work out as well for me, especially since it's uh, I believe it was a pity as well. And when I came to terms with that, it's uh, something that uh, I believe came to the end quite quickly. I've been trying different paths ever since, trying to find something that somewhere where I can fit in as myself or find what myself is. And let's just say that the traditional way of things wasn't exactly helping, even when stepping down to the Stepping down to the other side also didn't help. Luckily, I was given a chance to try something that was in my nature a simple drawing that I made. Yep. A simple drawing that I made was the was a defining factor that changed everything until up till now. If it weren't for that drawing and if it weren't for that person to have noticed that and give it a chance, everything that you see right now, I don't believe would be here if it weren't for that moment. Though, though the moment was not, though the moment didn't lead to a pleasant end, in fact, it, it kind of felt like, what's the word, insulted by my skills. And they gave me a trophy for that which made it even more insulting. Luckily, it wasn't all bad. I managed to find a, a new hope on the way there. Well, I was intending there for whatever, for this little tiny contest that they were having at the, in the area I found, when I said, a hope. A different path. And, and this path that I put my hope in since it's uh since I felt like going this way would have would have been better. Or and would have probably given me more ideas than going where I was going. In this path, new path, though it seemed, at first it seemed like it was a, uh, well, let's hear side I used to say it. The advertisement looked better than the place itself. That's uh, that's how much of a wake up it was, which was true. But every time I came back to that place, it can can better and better till it actually match and surpass what their advertisement looked. Yeah, it was a good place. 
it uh, gave me a chance to try out new things and open up my mind to see the bigger picture. Like, in some ways, it's what I was looking for. Before then, I wasn't thinking of much, just the next day and the next month. Nothing more, but when I came to the school, and after a while, it led to me thinking some more. But instead, I'm finding a way to think of every dimension. At first, it was uh, everyone wanted to learn the same thing, down to a few, down to me, solely trying to learn more stuff about um, a new technology that uh, I have never seen before. Though it's they say it's been there for a while, it was new to me, and it was exactly what I needed. They're great machines, and I probably gave you guys examples at one point. I might even add pictures uh, using this recording sometime, but... It was a 3D printer that uh, led to things being the way they are. Once I enjoyed, trans I enjoyed the Transformers, as to say. No, I say I enjoyed the Transformers, which awakened a a hunger to learn to create these machines one day to just simply creating them to creating something. And uh, as I said, in a traditional system, it was not possible. I was never really given a chance to try that out until I was, it was this new place that gave me a chance to try to create things that I can hold. Which became one of my projects. Um, Let's say that during the first year, I was ambitious, ambitious of what were the possibilities. And thanks to a mentor there, I got a chance to explore my ambition to the point where I was almost an equal to him. Though I still had much to learn. But uh, he was gone by the next year and I had to learn for the rest of the, those years on my own. I didn't know where to look, so my best efforts were trial and error as a way to learn. Which led to a lot of stuff getting broken and sometimes running out of tools as well to fix them. Which, that didn't start in the first year, I believe, no. Well, actually, it started before that. And no one knew how to use the machines, and therefore led to them being damaged. Almost instant, instantly. And I can remember what it could have probably cost them more. Remember when they were first damaged. And, uh... There was no fixing that, there was no time, no uh, resources to fix them. If I had to, well, thanks to my mentor helping me, and luckily they were broken. But in the time that he was there, we managed to find many ways to overcome the problems that the 3D printers were having. That's the way they were. 
which led to some critical thinking and which uh, stood by me until well, to today it's just that I haven't been using it as much as I as I would okay what then uh, then I said he was gone and I had to take care of things on my own well there was someone else but uh, uh, he yeah he needed to so it was his job to take care of things, technology wise, but not this technology where only one person was a focus. Well, he did use them every now and then. Even there was even some tools that uh, haven't been used, or won't get the chance to use yet, unless I get it myself. Well, there was some te technology that he used that uh, I haven't used, but. Uh, uh, he was always busy with other stuff, so I was the one who tried to find a way to make a use out of them. I believe I remember almost every project and order that I tried. I believe if it was, I believe yes, the well the first one you can never forget the first one. It was trying to create a. Pacific Rim figure from a website that basically that's basically that you need it needs to be it wasn't that professional. Well, it was not professional. If you if you could see it, well, one day I'll show you it. You will see that is what is so unprofessional of it is what you might ask. And a, a professional is that the, the parts weren't stuck together. And I would say he, if uh, if I were to print it, I was told, I was told that it will most likely fall apart immediately. And here comes the story that I should start with. So I kept asking and asking. How is this a possible solution? Is, is this another possible solution? Until finally, I managed to uh, find the right solution that he thought was uh, valuable. I think, or I'm thinking of words that I've heard, but I'm not sure how to say them myself. Anyways, it was it was a solution that uh, was it would be done, and they came out as as well as they could be at the time. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, it was a proud moment of mine being able to do something that no other else, no one else could. Well, others, others tried, and they succeeded, but I kept at it. Well, they saw one success as enough. <sighs> yeah. And in my in the time where I tried to create this Jager. I remember everything that he said, all of the things that could possibly go wrong, and which led to the lessons I learned on how to use the machines, your printers. Man, one of my next projects, the one that's more significant to me. Well, at the beginning, was creating the AllSpark. If you know what that is, well, you're in the right place. 
because one day we'll be doing more stuff like that if if ever comes around to it. Anyways, I created the Allspark because it was a symbol of creation to me. It was a symbol of creation itself, and I wanted to have that in hand as a reminder to of what I always dreamt about being able to create stuff and to what I am capable of at that time to be able to create stuff and be able to hold it in hand on the words I helped others with their own creations we some had the uh, had a chance to have it their part of their assignments as as homework and I got a chance to help them out help them out. I wasn't all about the those machines for well, kinda of, but most of the stuff that it revolved around them. So much so that uh, if you're wondering where I was, uh, you will probably find them, find me there. Next year, oh yeah, I tried to make a costume using the three, the three D printers, but uh, I learned that uh, you need to quite a lot of time in advance before you. In order to uh, create something such as a, such as that, which will come into play in the in the next part, okay. Well, not this one. Later, it will come back later. Um, what else? Oh, I just realized that that's that's on the emotes my chat is. So I'm not sure how to. There, I should do it. All right. Anyways, where was uh, I? was talking about how uh, it you need uh, you need time. In advance, if you're planning on doing a big project with the 3D with the 3D printers, because what I tried to make the costume it was basically one week before our Halloween party. I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm talking about. A high school. I'm not gonna give you the name of it, but. It's basically like an immersion, if you call it that. But it is this. It is this high school specifically that has led to the creation of Steel Wars itself. Because back then, there was no such thing as Steel Wars in mind. Yes, and as I was saying, I tried to do a big project one week beforehand, and basically it it was a uh, well, it wasn't a complete disaster, but I could have done better. I could have done better if I had time, and it was more calculative in mind designs as well. Well, right now, not at least any project that I speak of, it 
are not my designs. They're one designs that I found and I made. There is another change that came to mind. You see, oh, I get the feeling we we'll, we'll had to make a part two soon. Luckily, um, I got to. I have. To, I think Thursday I won't be here. I have a. Uh, I have a mission to do that day, so I won't be here. Um, to do a stream, but I'm pretty sure till then I, I, uh, I think I'll be able to do a stream till. I was planning on doing this yesterday, but uh, I didn't felt right. No, I didn't felt right, and I had nothing to do that day, as well. Quality control is not something I can handle. If you can see everything else that I've done, aside from the really cool stuff that's uh, from my commissioner most of the stuff that I do myself or at the highest quality that I'm capable of and if I can't provide that uh, then it stops me sometimes until I can figure it, figure things out and uh, that's one of the things that uh, change as everyone knows most once in a while, change is a scary thing for sure. I was really against it once, which uh, which uh, which is probably one of the reasons why why is something so simple that led to me coming to this school because the change that the uh, it happened was no one else's choice. It was my own. It was my choice to to participate or not, and I chose to do to do so. And came to finally now that the uh, I may not like change but and I, I would rather lead the change than to let the change lead me so instead of being hesitant of change I would uh, see about how I could influence the change to my likings Which uh, is, a st uh, is a story that, or well, this part that I said, we should think at the beginning, but still not that as organized as I should be. Anyways, that's a side, that was a side note. Now let's head back to it. the main note where, where I was, um, Let's see, it was, uh, we are figuring out that the, the time to figure out the, the, the time in advance to make a project good. And I need to be more calculated, be more calculated as well in my projects or designs as well. And that the, the designs that I've been talking about right now are not my own, but ones that I found and decided to make because they seem really cool and yes, they were, they were really cool at the time and they were they seemed like they would be a handful to deal with and 
that something that I, that I liked. That it, yes, it was something that I liked. Something that was a handful to build. Most of the stuff that, that I tried at that time were well. They weren't so. They weren't so very good. They were just. Uh, Mm -mm. I'm lost right now. I brought the designs were in mine, found them, made them because they were cool. And because some of them were also a hassle to make, and I thought it would be fun to try and make them. I believe that's because of. Uh, our influence I had before I arrived. I have a, have a little spark that came that oh well that I found actually. The fun in actually creating a project there was basically almost out of nothing or out of scrap and being able to and going through all that hard progress just to make a presentation of it. Oh, it was quite fun for me. And I, I, and I was sad that uh, I only had two chances to, to ch two chances to uh, make projects like that. And when I got the chance to make more projects on my own. I believe that uh, led to a spark of happily I may have been able to happily deal with hard challenges most of them yeah and so I had those things that I found and then let's say I took a request from some and I did my own things, like if I saw something really cool that I wanted to try that day, I would try to find a way to get into what we call the design lab. It's where the machines were held. <clears throat> and, and since no one else comes there anymore, well, no one else came by anymore, I had to ask whoever's nearby for access to the room to make my prints. And that's what's happened along with the other stuff that I will write down somewhere else. And that to 2019. Something that I noticed uh, around the time, well, between the time that I was spending, spending making those prints, it's uh, how the chain, how the school changed a lot from at the beginning being chaotic to actually being peaceful at times here all doing their own thing and it was a it was an eye opening how valuable this school really was Unfortunately, it's, it would be some time until we got the chance to return. But you know what happened next. The pandemic happened. I was... 
I wasn't worried as much. At first, I thought that I wasn't worried. I was mostly focused on what the what, what, what was I going to do in the meantime because until then I had nothing else to do but to figure out what I was going to print next. Uh, and the things that I tried to do was uh, was cook, I believe, or at least try some old, some recipes again, and see if I can do them better this time. One of the main recipes that I always try to find a way to make better was my uh, teriyaki. It's been a while since the last made it. What else? The pandemic happened, and I believe it was around that time where I found Twitch. I was a uh, well, like an email who was bored at the time. They were probably on whatever social platform they knew. For me, it was mainly YouTube that I knew. And that's where I was one day introduced to the concept of VTubers and the VTubers themselves. One, two, three, four. But it was these four, well, this one specifically, that led me to exploring more and seeing the wonders of well, the wonders of what we two really is. Well, if anyone knows, it was the uh, the AI one that was the first that I saw and then came the rest that I saw that along with the uh, I'm not sure when I learned VR chat existed either at the same time everyone else did or no it wasn't it was before I found out about Twitch, just don't know why. Either way, it was there where I met a few, a few of the originals that I introduced to, and I, some of them, I still speak to, from time to time. And if you had a chance to see this, and yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, thank you for uh, being an inspiration again, and my condolences to you. Oh. And then, you know, the strangest thing happened. Let's say different reason why. Well, it was the spark 
they let down to the domino effect that uh, well it wasn't exactly a domino effect it didn't let two things come into place it led to uh, it led by it just so happened and everything was in place and it was either my decision to either take it or to forget about it I never truly said what happened when I first started this. I always uh, believe that you guys knew what happened when I saw uh, this, these turn of events. I wonder what you guys would think if uh, it was me as, as the same old because. I myself still see me as the same mold, despite the knowledge and grasp that I have now, which I would have thought later if I still have the mind. When I first Oof. I'm trying to think how did this play through was it the first summer or was it the second summer because there as you can see there's a lot of time from 2019 till now I don't know, and I still don't remember. Well, I don't even remember when I first began. I tried, I found it once, but I don't I forget when it was it. A year is it 2019? At before the summer even started, actually. Then, wait. That's coming. Yes. Yes. Yes, I got. What happened when I start? When it began? first began, I was, I was, saw, let's see, I believe I was watching someone, and then I began to do some research, was it personal research or was it it's so hard to tell to different each day when almost every day felt the same Not called. They quote they have wrote down. I'm not sure if it if it will, it will help or not.
so many quotes that I'm um, trying to save one of these I wrote down and the other around those dates trying to see if I can draw my memory Done the dates as well. <sighs> yeah, okay, so I'm not sure when it happened, but or which summer it was. Because it's um, because in one way it felt like a the way I remember it now, it feels like it's so. It's it's too it's simple, but I guess it's how it's, I should say it. But I'm, I'm wondering what happened. What else happened that fills in those gaps? Well, I'm just hesitating to say what really happened. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? So mm. What happened that day? Was influenced by my need to help others and how my school gave me new ideas on how to be able to do that. Mixed with the, the possibilities of being a VTuber could help. I was doing some research on the, on the old question that I had. What does it take to uh, run for offices here? And saw how easily it could be done. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as it looked. Everything. People need to know you and, and trust you. And and since that day, I tried to find a way that 
would help and uh, finding a way for people to get to know me but at the same time more the more research I done the more I tried the more I realized that I there's much more that I had to do than just simply say so And it was convenient that when I started streaming that hey, uh, there was something that I always used to do every summer. Well, not every summer, but something I used to take was a class, a safety class, a water and first aid safe class. Unfortunately, to say that that year I wasn't able to attend and I really was hoping to do it doing during the summer but there was no there was no class available that day but there was something else available a uh, a college level political science class for the summer and they the advertise and they said that they will pay you to take those classes now can you connect the dots research on the what it takes to be what it takes to run for office people need to get to know you and I start streaming because of that but then I realized that I I had too much to learn or well, so much to learn before I can even qualify to even think about being able to run for office and it just so happens that when I went to go look for a, my usual classes there was no such class but a new one <laughs> so I could either go take my old class and uh, one day probably think that uh, the reason why I started was just the reason why I started and simply keep on going without it or I could take this class and uh, improve myself knowledgeably and uh, see what I didn't know and uh, well it was the, the money they made it a bit more convincing the money plus a class on how to use computer well a class on computer science as well and still get paid a lot of money yeah so that's how it started but it's not how it fully began now this was uh, how you say before time began everything was being set up for the the rise of steelworks so yeah so um let's see mm. now 
and that's well, now that was what it was a worry about. The reason why I began and also another thing that I'm worried about is what? Why this this gap that I am thinking about? There's a gap that is bothering me right now that I'm not sure what it is. But The reason I say it's bothering me because after I took the class, I uh, seriously, it's what I just said. Yes, I'm not sure how they come together because when the reason is I did my tiny research and connected the dots before the summer and during the summer I took the class and after the summer I took an internship to help me further understand on how to start a project and how to finish it but by the time that um, this project was being by the time this project was being done Steve works was already around. I mean, the internship. How Steve works was around, and then. <clears throat> so there's a gap somewhere. In this timeline that I'm trying to figure out there are three points the research the, the taking action with the class and then there's the internship that helped me um, understand more on how to run a project the pro the internship is another story, but I really, it doesn't come until it's, I say the, the part where it's, because in between the internship and the summer, Steelworks came out, and. Steelworks came out, and, uh, and then later the internship happened. Hmm. What? The? Steelworks has been around for two years. Next year will be three. So it's. Oh, that's uh, really, really it's really burning inside. What? What is? I'm really saying that again and again of what the time, what the gap is. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get the answer immediately. So I was doing some research and I about how how can someone get into 
into office. I saw how Peter was getting a lot of attention. Then I put two and two together and then I tried to do it myself, but I realized that uh, it was a lot more than just wanted to you have stuff you need to know before you can go down that path and it was convenient that uh, while I was trying to find a way to start well it always wasn't it was streaming just streaming and then I found a convenience that uh, there was a uh, class over the summer that was that was basically learning political science and they were paying you to learn so I took the class I managed to get an extra class on the computer science set and then uh, for the summer I had that to do And then, well, I forgot this little tiny detail. I work fast. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's enough. I can, I can work fast, and I believe, I believe that. Uh, It was. Well, it was between when I found when I started streaming till the summer. I was working on the first designs. They were, were given some a chance to return to school, and I did my research on how I wanted it to look. And I found what I wanted, and I used that as my base. And I had to figure out what design I wanted, what color I wanted. The color, well, as you can see, it's not yellow; it's it's gold. The reason it's gold is because um, what? Nah, uh, let's see. Uh, my principal told me that. To always um, go for the gold, and uh, that stuck with me too. Uh, well, for me, it simply was that uh, uh, no matter no matter what you're doing, to always go for the best of what you can do. And that stuck me t till the day I decided to pick what color I wanted my character to be. And so I went with this. This is not the first design, it's just the outcomes of me figuring out the color. Also, I like the color blue, so I decided. Um, you know what, I will make the eyes blue as a way to keep something for myself. I, and then I believe I spent the summer I believe not, it wasn't summer. I believe it was. I could use the rest of the weeks to find how I wanted it to look. And while I was doing that, I also found a, a bunch of pictures of jets as well. So I 
was well, I was gonna say what my output was, but let's just say uh, I found a bunch of pictures and then I Frankenstein a uh, an output. I showed it once. If you go to my Twitter and look back, I'm sure you'll find it. But it's not the final design, it's just something that, well, it was the first design after coloring it again, again, and again. Till that thing was there, and then after that I remod, remade it. Well, I guess I really, I guess I've been given the answers already. Just, uh, people really want to know that, and the answers were there. Yeah. And it was, so I, no, I was, I believe I spent the summer, every now I work on those three, trying to, uh, find how I want to the design, or maybe not. Maybe not. I believe I, I got something during the, um, I had something before the summer started and then I found the class for the summer. And then when I came back is when I began to work on it some more. Oh, I don't think there, I don't believe there was a gap, or maybe there is, and uh, it's being, oh, scattered up in something, <laughs> because uh, the internship that I'm talking about, that The internship I talked about, I took it when I was a senior. Which was this year. And i talking about a time where it... I'm talking about a time... way before that, so there is a gap there that I'm not sure how it, how to connect. <gasps> like, uh, that has been a summer, I finished that, and but they take a whole other year until the internship um, was even introduced. Uh, this is uh, be some recap when I decide to hear it later. You know, okay, so maybe I should start moving on. Yeah, it's uh, quite a doozy here, huh? because uh, I'm starting to confuse myself and probably others uh, at this point, whether it decides to listen to this on, uh, on this part, so let's try to move on. I finished the... Uh, I finished the... Um, 
Yeah, I finished the class. With a C. Not the best, but uh, it was a start. Um, I took an inter internship class, but during that time of the internship, it was during my senior year, I came back from the summer. Okay, maybe what if we push things forward a bit? Yes, maybe if we did that, maybe I started watching Twitch and it wasn't until a year later when I started to take it seriously when I found that info and stand mm. uh, or maybe it's just that I, I took a big leap or big break during the uh during 2020 nothing else was going on or a lot of stuff was going on but for me i no but it doesn't feel right i feel like i did something after all it is 22 I'm pretty sure it's uh maybe Maybe I'm thinking too hard. Everything that I just said is connected. It's just that um, I did a lot of stuff during time that uh, doesn't fit into what I'm trying to talk about. It. So it feels like a big gap. When reality is, it really isn't just me skipping parts. So, when it was my senior's time, there was one pro there was a final project that I tried to do. Um, I found, well, the previous um, Halloween parties that we had were, um, well, the first one was good. But after that one, it, it hasn't been the same. And for my final project, I really wanted to make something that fits to the, that fits with the, with the event. And this time I wasn't going to start the week beforehand, as I mentioned before. So this time. The month when I came back, I uh, immediately had plans to start my final project, 3D, a 3D project. And I remember a few years before, I found this uh, chandelier that uh, was, well, was basically for uh, Halloween. I was looking for Halloween stuff and one of those stuff was a chandelier yeah if you wonder what it is and i want clearly to say it was the 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 chandelier of fear if you find it it took me a few months to be able to get that thing finished there was a lot of trial and error considering that the many of the uh, machines were in our I couldn't operate them. Their damages were beyond the hardware 
and th or software to the point where um, the it needed professional help that I couldn't give. And unfortunately, the funding was going elsewhere. So I had to use what I had to make the machines. Luckily, the one of my previous classes would move into that room. So I had that class and a second class to not just one class actually to um, use the machine however I wanted well when any time during that class hmm. yeah it was one it was a uh, And I say one of my uh, uh, greatest uh, creations that I made so far. Oh yes, I remember what happened. Um, I met a an art teacher. Not sure when. Uh, if a theater, uh, come here. Uh, don't chew the cables. Okay. Um, I'm an art teacher that inspired me to continue working on my art. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm a teacher to help me with my. It helped me, um, ow. uh, be re inspired to continue creating my own art, which was in time where, where I found where I wanted to become my own VTuber. No, no, oh, sorry. And uh, she helped me out a lot. I believe it was um, 2020 where I was really working on improving my uh, my model. Um, I'm not sure. Right now, this is simply a recap on that. I'm uh, be no, I'll say it later. Not the cable, not the cable. Yes, yeah, so she helped me out a lot with uh, creating this model in some of my earlier creations as well. And uh, I, and I also one of the things that I did, if you've seen it, I uh, designed my own models as well. One of the things that I, one of the earlier things that I made were uh, it was a little insignia. Well, more like I try to make my make the face on a uh, make my face printable, and that's uh, and it was a success. Mm -hmm. Though it was simple, it was still a great uh, victory for me that led uh, to me to sorry that led to me to uh, finding 
led me to creating other stuff. Not many, but a few more. They weren't as complicated, but uh, it's it was something. Or well, something I could put on my profile if I want to. Anyway, I said uh, one thing led to the other. I believe I try to make. Uh, I believe this is one of the first models that you see. I made a Halloween. I made a Christmas one. I used this one for whatever. Nope, I took. I also took breaks uh, a lot in order to get stuff done and uh, to simply take a rest. Uh, sometimes um, it seems that I needed a lot more rest than I thought, or it seems that uh, I couldn't juggle two things at once. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I, I believe it was during the summer, and uh, before that, where I did my streams as constantly as I could, to, to when I took my first break, to see um, when will be a good time to stream, and um, then took another break to work on some stuff, came back with this stuff that I was working on, and then uh, and then I took that internship again, paid one, got some money to help me out, and also I, I tried to do some earn investing, I tried the, the easy way to first, with an app that does it for me, but then uh, it just so happens that they that another coincidence happened. Um, one of my teachers got someone who knew about investing to teach us about it, in which I learned a bit more as well. Um, also, uh, I'll say that for later. So. It's not the important right now. It's just some of the things that I, that I found, learned. And then uh, another, I took another break. There was some, a lot of stuff going on at that time that really needed my attention. And I tried to be of some use, but I needed... Um, I needed to take the break so that uh, what I'm, I was doing at the time wouldn't influence how I was streaming. And I believe I came back for a bit after that, after graduation. Then I went to the expo. Yeah. Now, now that I realize that um, there is a, I remember other details that I'm not saying that actually connects everything. The way I, I the way I'm, uh, well, mostly everything. There's still a bit more gaps. Just that the gap is growing smaller as, as I speak. Now, the reason I'm saying talking about the past is because the, you, need to, you need to know the past to know where you are and where you're going. I believe two of the quotes that I wrote down specifically talk about that. Here, here's one of the quotes that I wrote down. Always remember where you come from. Things that certain people 
Persuade as disadvantages. Other use to propel them forward. And another. Even when you become stronger, never forget about why in the first place. I believe the first one I've I've, I'm not sure someone would said it and then the second one I'm not sure what happened, where that one came from but they provide a useful perspective on how to uh, how to use the path for what are you doing right now I mean, for me, there's the past started with the because someone was going was the, wasn't here to see everything that's, that's happening right now, and I wanted to take what they influence as a way to keep them alive, but it wasn't something that I could do. Because it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't me, basically. It was them. Even though I really tried to figure out a way to do what what they used to do, it wasn't something that I would be capable of doing. Not in a long time. So, uh, instead, I'm just gonna keep on going. For them, because there's a lot of things that could have been, they could have changed if it wasn't for them being gone. So I'm taking the initiative of being that change, so that uh, that way I can uh, always uh, keep them close. As I uh, go on, yeah. So, where to next? Okay, I took a break, came back for a bit, I believe. Not sure if I did, but. I did went to the expo, if you know about it, the anime expo. Yes, I'm a big fan of them. I mean, it was... If it wasn't for them, for anime, I mean, I wouldn't have taken notice of the AI order, which wouldn't have led to the other eaters to come around, which wouldn't have led to me finding them. Which led to what I know makes what they were doing to me taking the, the class to help me start where to go on, which led to me to finding other stuff to let well, that led to me to find out what it means to have more money that you know what to do with and then lose it and try to learn how to plant it and then how to um, then uh, look for a place look for an, another chance to get to earn more money which led to the, the uh, the internship and in the internship it was someone who taught us how to follow through on projects which led me to find to continue to be able to continue on with this in a new perspective and then i met the uh, and then when I had a chance to take a much more notable 
cloth I took it to help me further my own knowledge oh yeah 